I'm not sure what to do with you. I hold no grudge against you, Deng. We are so very much the same, you and I. Did you really drink from the amnesia mixture? It does explain so much of your behavior. You never did finish what you set out to do. You talked about redemption, how you would face the orb's shadow and save our work and me. I will grant you another chance to redeem yourself. You can wait here and stop the shadow. Thank you, friend. All right, um, <laughs> none of you were expecting this. Um, basically, I, was, I got a comment on my videos. By the way, this is the other way you could get out of the cell. I get comments in my videos saying um, that I didn't do all the endings. I thought I did, but apparently, if you stay in this cell, you do get a different ending. So. I guess I'm just gonna wait in here and then see. Uh, I don't know how long I need to wait. I'll leave it running for a, a, a few minutes. Um, so I might pause this here and then once something happens, I'll start it again, and you can you can see the other ending if there is one. So I'll be back in a bit. Alright, so something's happening, the shadow's taking over my room. So, <laughs> I thought I'd show you that it went upside down, as it does. And the shadow came in. <laughs> Let's just jump up here, shall we? And you can see it, like, infecting the room. Um. Right, I'm gonna let go of it again, and then come back when something else happens. Alright, so it's just filled up with more goo, and I assume that what's gonna happen is... Slowly it's going to, um Fill up, and... Get us, basically. Oh, they said there was a third solution for getting out of the cell. There's the break in the wall. There's, um... Oh. There's... Using the metal bar. And I think th this might be the, the other one. Yeah, the other one's climbing out that way. <laughs> oh well, I worked it out, didn't I? Because I'm just that cool. So I'll pause this again and come back when something else happens. This is the third time, so something must happen. Look at the wheat, there's a wee clear bit in the middle. It's like the blur goes down and there's a circle in the middle that's clear. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> right, so that's been completely... We're getting close. I think one more time should do it. I'm just going to say some comments whilst we wait. I think something that would be good for the next Amnesia game is that they... Like, in Penumbra and Amnesia, great games and they've got good puzzles in them but they're almost too forgiving to the player and I know they do that because they want to keep it at an open range but I think two difficulty settings you know like forgiving and you know hard where because basically I found going through it once you go through it you look back on it and things are, things are too simple really I mean some of the puzzles in that so having a an easier setting and a harder setting that means like things are far more challenging and there's far more depth to the game basically and it would be far harder to actually complete the game like some other puzzle games not too hard but I mean you play some other puzzle games and they are you get you really do get stuck in this game the only time I've really got stuck with was that machine puzzle that was like pissed everyone off, well by everyone, I saw Manga Minx's Let's Play up to that point and uh, apart from that there wasn't really any hard puzzles, that was just an annoying puzzle to be honest, but I mean 
some more depth to the puzzles and stuff would be a welcome addition in my opinion. Uh, what do you guys think? I mean, if you've played the game or whatever, leave a comment saying what you think. Oh Jesus Christ. Do you think, you know, it should, the game should be easier or harder, you know? Actually, just have a discussion in the comments, you know, let's get let's get a lot of comments in this video just about what you think should be um, in the next Amnesia, not Amnesia, sorry, the next game or whatever, what do you think would be some good, good things to put in and good things to take out? Alright, here we go. I think this is it, it's gone fucking mental now, so... Thank you, my friend. Your sacrifice won't be forgotten. You will be celebrated forever. It wasn't really much of a different ending, but it's, it's different enough that I'll, I'll definitely put it up on YouTube. Um, Thomas Grip, Marcus Johansson, Louis Eredero Morales, Mark Nicander, Jens Nelson. Great, great dev team. Um, something I was thinking, you know, the game. It's some people have been saying like it's the endings were bad or disappointed in the endings. Um, I wasn't really. I thought the endings were great, and it's because it's the same. They've done the same thing. It's it's with the monsters, for example. Um, of course, the monsters actually are walking about. You see them. But they're not designed in a way, they're, they're relatively blank, if you know what I mean. It's sort of the, the mummified type of thing wrapped up in the paper with the missing limbs and stuff. The water monster's the best example of it, is that you don't actually see it. It's not, it's it's there, but it, it's not there. And it lets your imagination drive you insane. It lets your imagination scare you because the thing that people fear most is what they can conjure up themselves, their paranoia and their imagination that really drives people over the edge. And it's the same thing I've always thought, the idea of hell. Hell wouldn't be physical pain. That's not what hell would... In my, for some people maybe, but for me the real definition of hell is everyone's worst nightmare. And what a nightmare is is something that takes the supernatural and everything and fucks around with your head and when you wake up from a nightmare and you're sweating and all that you've not felt any real pain instead what you've went through is psychological torture and that's what these guys were in effect trying to put into a game so when the endings came about they left it to the the player the person going through it I've not read uh, any HP Lovecraft stuff, although I would really like to, but I imagine that's the way he did his things, was letting people's own imaginations take a hold of them and really petrify them. So, when it's the end, and you know, you've got the guys talking about this place that they're going, people are saying, like, what's the orbs, what's the shadow, what's the, you know, this magical place they're going to? The place is a place of light, sort of, it's a place of this happiness and, and stuff, I don't know, it's almost like a form of heaven, but far less pure than heaven, because this Alexander guy is going into it, and this, this evil man is trying to get to it, this other world, this other amazing dimension that Vyre and all that knew about, and Agrippa knew about. 
and then you've got the shadow and I think what the shadow is is that this orb and the power it has in these wrong hands and these human hands is something that can be messed about with and it basically has way too much power over it over people and it's not being put to a good use so Alexander's taking this orb and he's, he's trying to use it to keep the shadow away but he's also using the orbs to try and get himself to this eternal, a place of eternal life and living and so in doing so this shadow comes after him and Daniel's helped him along this and he's been corrupted by it all and I think the shadow is the, the punishment, um, redemption purgatory, things like that, it is the, the killing of this evilness, the evilness itself is there to set about on these other evils, these men who are corrupt themselves and have done such terrible things because when you're playing this game you really feel like Daniel, but Daniel's not a good person in the game, you know, it's, it's, it's really well done, it's like they've not, they've not made you this hard ass protagonist who's good for all, respectable and all that. He's a corrupt man and he is not of pure spirit. Alexander is worse. But just because someone is worse than you doesn't mean you are exempt from judgment. And that's what I think the shadow is. The shadow is the judgment in this place that Alexander's trying to go to is whatever. But that's my opinion on it, and I think when people play this, if they really think about it and they, they immerse themselves and they get into it, everyone thinks up their own opinion and everything. So anyways, that's a sort of amnesia ending and my thoughts on and just sort of going over it and all that. It's a really well done game and I can't wait for the next one. I think it'll only get better and I will definitely be doing an LP of it. And I'll do like a, I'll try, what I'll try and do, right, you might need to remind me about this when it comes close to the game is uh, I'll pre-order it and as soon as it comes out, school night or not I'll get some energy drinks and stuff so that my wake as unless it comes out during the day and I'll just play through like hours of it yeah so yeah what I'll do is I'll like um, night, all night or I'll do like, well not all night or but I'll have like an hour long marathon if you like for my first video and I'm, I'll just upload that to YouTube and like dashing 720 pixels. Uh, um, although maybe either that or I'll just record for like an hour and upload it in 20 minute sessions because I don't know, tell me what you think, like would an hour long video be too long? Do you prefer it in these little bits or whatever? Let me know in the comments. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed everything Amnesia and still get the custom stories to do. So keep looking forward to that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.